Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Alright, let's show this to Sayori next. Uh, oh my goodness, this is so good Kev Gooey. Eh, I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, I only chose 20 words. You must be seriously overreacting. Not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ha 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 ha. Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a cat gooey poem. That makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Hee hee hee. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Cap Gooey. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Hee hee hee. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. <laughs> okay. Sayori, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. But just a little bit. I can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Uh-huh. Ah. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hee hee hee. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Ah, uh, well. Aw, uh, let's show Yuri. Hmm. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. The minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh, so sorry. I forgot to start speaking. It's okay, that's just like me. I get lost in my train of thought. Uh, um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it is that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. 
It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. And the end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Uh, um... Well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Not sure if Yuri is a podge to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Is it gonna be horror? Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Up, oh, ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Bathing air. Breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I, I'm sorry if such terrible handwriting. What? Ah, I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. You, you mean cursive? I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Kevgui. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it all after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the goat poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort and able to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Alright, last one, Natsuki! Uh, well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. Not like I said it was bad. It's just... It, it, didn't, it just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically it's not cute enough for your taste? You want to get smacked? I'll pass. Uh, hmm. I think she's a yandere. Well anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. But why'd the music change? Egos can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Egos can fly. Eekbopa can try. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Let's be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. But people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. 
Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps, it, it helps bring out the feelings in the last line. So you did. There's more went to it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how it everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Ah. Huh. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. We read the poem. This was, this was an episode where I read you poems. Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys didn't, please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!